All right, let's move to old business, school calendar, and holiday calendar for non-certified employees. Just to keep with our for, our format of voting at action meetings, I'd say we hold off till February just to keep this out there publicly for uh, two more weeks. But I did meet with the superintendents from the feeder districts. We are having a Common Institute Day in October, so that's another set of good news. One, it's providing uh, articulation for all the feeder schools to work directly with the high school, and uh, we're going to be working at Common Core. And, uh, Pam, has been, Pam has been working with the building <coughs> principals from the feeder schools um, to increase that articulation. Another good thing is by having a common institute in October is that there's a unified time off for the feeder schools and the high school so that one school is not in session while the other school is in session. Um, the spring breaks are the same as well, and I believe the winter breaks are pretty closely aligned as well. So uh, it's, uh, overall the calendar is in pretty good shape. And it should be ready to um, hopefully be approved by the board in February. I'd just like to leave it out there for a little while. Okay. 